In this example, we are given that in the circuit shown in figure, the charge on capacitor is 100 microcoulomb, and it is saying if the switch is closed at t equals to zero, we are required to find the current in circuit when charge on capacitor reduces to 50 microcoulomb. We are also required to find the maximum current in the circuit. Here uh, you can see if we close down the switch, it will start discharging through the inductor and uh, the current in circuit increases with time. Now in this equation we know that under ideal conditions the total energy of circuit remains constant. So we can write to when charge on capacitor is Q and the circuit current is I, we use, we can write Q square by 2C plus half Li square is equals to capital Q square by 2C which is the initial energy and that remains constant. So in this situation we can find out the value of current in the circuit which can be directly given as 1 by root of Lc multiplied by root of Q square minus Q square. In previous sections we have studied that this is the relation which we can directly write by using velocity of SHM also. Here we substitute the value, see what we are getting. Here uh, charges are uh, 100 microcoulomb and 50 microcoulomb divided by root of uh, LC. We can see you are getting it 6 multiplied by 5, it will be 30 into 10 to power uh, minus 9. So this will be 3 into 10 to power minus 8, this is the value of the product of L and C. On further simplifying C, what we are getting, the value we are getting is, uh, here mu can be taken common, that will be 10 to power minus 6 divided by this root 3 multiplied by, this can be written as 10 to power minus 4 multiplied by, inside the radical sign we can write. 100 square minus 50 square, that can be written as 7500, this is 10,000 minus 2500. So on further simplifying, we will get 0 0.5 ampere, that will be the answer to a part of this problem. Here we are also required to find the maximum current in the circuit. So current is maximum when the charge on capacitor becomes 0. So we can directly write half L I max square should be equals to Q square by 2C. So from here we get the value of I max to be Q divided by root LC. If we substitute the value, this is 100 into 10 to power minus 6 divided by root of 3 into 10 to power minus 8. On simplifying, we are getting it 1 by root 3 ampere. That is another answer to this problem.